With recent changes to the way the Department of Labor will be regulating retirement accounts, many investors and planning professionals are asking what is the big deal about fiduciary advisors? A fiduciary is a person who acts in a position of trust. He must work in the best interest of his client. This means he has to put his client's interests before his interests. There are basically four types of firms who provide investment advice. First, investment advisory firms, which are registered investment advisors, or RIAs for short. Second, brokerage firms, third, insurance firms, and fourth, banks. Of these, until now, only RIAs are treated as fiduciaries. The problem is that rarely does an investor work with a firm that is solely an RIA. Most investors work with advisors who can be paid brokerage and insurance commissions. So there are conflicts of interest. Advisors use terms like fee-based, which doesn't mean anything because it means the advisor can be paid from a combination of commissions and fees. The term fee-only is better, but often also misused. Fee-only is relevant only when an advisor is a certified financial planner, in fact. The number one rated CNBC fee-only advisor employs insurance agents, hardly fee-only. This has been a problem because so many insurance agents have been selling magical products that are risk-free or promise guaranteed income. Until now, an insurance agent or an RIA with an insurance license, who is an insurance agent, could sell you insurance and not be treated as a fiduciary. We have seen dozens of clients be sold insurance by so-called fiduciaries even over the last year. The good news is that the Department of Labor has issued a new rule that will substantially change the way advice is regulated for retirement assets. Please reach out to us to learn more about how you can be 100% sure your advisor is working in your best interest in all aspects of your relationship.